camera rolling action uh, as a film enthusiast who is more interested in films uh, when according to in my point of view what i would like to say is that uh, if i wish to go or watch a film uh, my interest is to get the best merit of a film uh, whether it is a masala film or an art film so this is the mostly the common notion of the persons who are going to watch a film uh, uh, based on that when you uh, differentiate uh, a masala film and an art film uh, my personal uh, choice would be an art film uh, at some instance for the purpose of enjoyment i could have chosen uh, masala films but when it comes to the aspect of uh, referring to life or a portrayal of real life uh, it is uh, my choice would be uh, obviously the art films uh, well on the perspective of financial success uh, we see a very uh, less uh, attraction from the us uh, towards the cinema hall when uh, the art films are uh, screened uh, in the silver screen uh, but uh, when you when you be very critical of it there are certain industries who give much importance to the content rather than the uh, masala elements which uh, which you mostly see in most of the indian films for example when you consider malayalam industry or the uh, bengali uh, film industry in both of these what you see is that uh, their content is being given more importance and the viewers also give importance to this contents rather than the uh, so called masala elements in the films Uh, so yes we can say that uh, there is a interest among the audience towards uh, seeing the real life situations in the silver screen yes by seeing the real life situations the people are able to uh, go through their own life or through the life of other people and through that experience through experiencing that portrayal of real life they and they have the catharsis through which they have a uh what uh, release of their emotions uh which is the effect of obviously a literary work or a film uh so this you can feel mostly to that extent only through art films so art films do have importance in uh, everyday life whether it is in uh, western countries or in indian context and i expect the new generations uh, will have further uh, interest uh, obviously it is there when you see the growing of uh, netflix or the other so called uh, what other platforms uh, where uh, these uh, non uh, language means where films are uh, screened beyond the linguistic barriers people show interest to watch films so there are a, a huge appreciation among the new generation uh, for this uh, new art the, for the art films which give much importance to the content rather than the so called uh, masala or the other attractive elements which are not realistic so i do hope for a best for uh, art films in india and for the future generations uh, support and interest will be there uh, for the art films about bringing the interest of uh, viewers uh, towards art films uh, what we uh, have to say, what in my perspective uh, what we usually see is that um, when we talk to other people even the older generations uh, sometimes they once in a while come to cinema halls to enjoy films so uh, when the films are more of uh, symbolism that is Uh, there are in certain films for example uh, the most renowned filmmaker like adur gobalakrishnan uh, malayalam uh, filmmaker in his films silence has a more role to play uh, ra- rather than dialogues so for viewers when there is much of silence in the silver screen they will feel bored so uh, if you want to bring that uh, realistic uh, if you want to bring that so called uh, interest among uh, the audience in a mass uh, i would suggest that uh there should be uh content and there should be uh better dialogues and uh, it can you can bring directly to a very hardcore art film with a very deep analysis of meanings where people have to decipher the meaning 
by uh, seeing the film but it should be better the beginning stage it should be conveying the ideas through dialogues and slowly you should make the audience get prepared for watching our films and slowly you can increase the uh, viewership so for this you need uh, to have good lyricist for songs and you need to have uh, good dialogues uh, to convey the good content of the film and naturally gradually you can bring the change and slowly go to the uh, the greater extent of deep ideas which the audience has to decipher from the films so it should be uh, the process should be like that so gradually uh, creating the interest of the viewer and uh, by them uh, educating them what uh, art film really means and having and slowly you can bring that uh, into effect so that's my way of bringing the audience into the screen uh, it shouldn't be a direct hit it should be a stages of development through which you educate the audience to view art films considering indian context we have a great potential in film industry earlier west used to view us only in the eyes of bollywood but now it is not like that we have a south indian film industry uh, we have other regional film industry especially south indian film industry uh, because even though other film industries are there we don't uh, see they get much acclamation as they get immersed into the clutches of bollywood but uh, when you see uh, south indian film industry uh, whether it is telugu whether it is kannada whether it is tamil or malayalam uh, we see great appreciation for it uh, especially soon after the uh, what uh, the success of uh, rajamouli's uh, bahubali uh, we see that uh, acclamation has been there uh, for the south indian uh, films especially from uh, within india and also from abroad uh, uh, nowadays people uh, are ready and people could di- uh, differentiate not only in india with the western people could differentiate uh, that uh, there is other form of uh, film making in india apart from bollywood so this is a good change and india being a country of diverse population diverse culture with diverse languages uh, this is a great uh, what uh, it's a great uh, it's a uh, it's a it's filled with great resources where contents are more and stories are more there so we can tell more stories in di- wide diverse languages and uh, we could enjoy the mass whether it is in india not only in india but also abroad so uh, we are at to uh, decipher uh, the hidden stories that are in our great country